what's going on everybody um so i just wanted to do a quick video here um on my tiny hawk uh basically cleaning out the motors and this applies to pretty much any brushless motor um the issue i was having uh was on this one here uh my tiny hawk original one basically what was happening is i took a slight bump crash and the uh left rear motor wasn't working it was just uh it was moving freely it just wasn't uh taking off it was basically you'd fire it up all the uh props were spinning except for this one you go to throttle up and it would just kind of stutter around or spin in other directions and it would just you know fail safe out so i uh you know was poking around it could have been one of two things um normally when i fly in my basement or outdoors mainly in my basement but when i hit into get into a corner or something uh where because my basement's unfinished um or if i land someplace that hasn't been touched in a while Basically what happens is I get a lot of junk and, you know, cobwebs, hair, whatnot, uh, lodged around these motors. Um, so I noticed that there was a, an abundance in this motor here. Um, so I pulled everything apart. Uh, I checked all my connections. It could have been possibly a connection here uh, where it goes to the, uh, uh, basically the board. Uh, but it felt solid. So, I mean, I don't know if anything in these motors, I mean, anything touching the coils could basically short it out or cause it not to uh, fire up. Um, but I mean, other than that, everything seemed to be working fine. It's just that motor wasn't spinning. So I'm going to go through here and not on this one, but actually on the other one, Tiny Hawk 2, I'm going to go through cause I have a motor on here. That's pretty, uh, gunked up. So I'm going to go through and try and show you guys how to pull this out. And it's uh, pretty easy to do actually. So, um, stick with me. I'll go through these steps here. Just need a couple tools. Um, for me, I use a pair of small pliers, um, helps me you know get the uh, connection out of there so uh, let's find one that's pretty gunked up actually this one doesn't look all too good um, sometimes you can just basically pull these wires up and this one I know because I replaced this board it just pops right out uh, that's pretty easy to do the other thing you're gonna need is a screwdriver um, this is one of the ones that came with it or any of my betas or whatever it came with one of them um, it works just fine um, I actually have another tool kit as well but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop these off here sometimes they'll stay in the frame sometimes they don't uh, these ones I have not taken off but I will try and do so far away from my face And hoping that I don't drop one. These do come with Loctite on them as well. Some of them do. Um, some I haven't been able to see any on there. So with that out, should be able to just loosen this up. Maybe a little bit more on this one here. And you'll feel the motor just basically separate. So I'll, I like to leave the screws in there just because I know that they're there. Won't lose them. Hit within the frame. Pop that through. There we go. Um, now you can take the prop off. You can leave it on. It really doesn't matter. Um, the next thing that we're going for is this little C clip right here. Let me see if I can get it into focus. There's a little C clip on there. So we're going to pop that off right there. And for that, For that, I actually use a very small blade. Um, basically, just get it right up underneath here without ejecting, and I keep my thumb over it, and just basically slide it out, and it'll just unclip itself, like so. So we got it there. It, they're super small. Uh, you don't get any replacements, which kind of sucks, but oh well. <laughs> um, They'll, they'll stay on, I mean, under heavy crashes, uh, but sometimes they just fall right off. Uh, next thing to do once that C-clip is off, uh, just be careful when separating this because the bearing is going to be, okay, this bearing stayed inside there. So we got that little tiny bearing inside the coil. Sometimes they stay on the shaft in here. Um, so basically just go through and examine. Uh, make sure that there's no junk on there. Uh, make sure that the bearing does not fall out. So I'm going to tap this on the table here all right so the stuff that we're going for is all this gunk in the side here 
Let's see if I can get in there. There's just a lot of junk in there. So I'll use a fine pair of tweezers. Now let's go through and carefully pick it out. Um, you would want to make sure that you don't get any of the coils on there uh, or damage any of them. Otherwise, your motor's just pretty much shot. Um, sorry, I'm trying to do this far away from my face and clean it and keep it in frame without damaging it. But, um, and you can just basically visually inspect too, make sure nothing's out of place, no burn marks, uh, things like that. So yeah, I just like to get all this stuff out of there. Um, whether it affects it or not, it's just not good to have in there, in the motors. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and then everything's just reverse as, as far as assembling. Uh, you check inside here, obviously it's magnetic. You got magnets on both sides, and that looks pretty good. So, um, yeah, those are in good shape. No, no issues there. So, um, yeah, we'll uh, throw it back together here, and then uh, I don't have any flight footage, and I don't have anything when this, you know, one was acting up. It was basically just spinning around, fail safing. So, but uh, just wanted to show you guys how the uh, Tiny Hawk motors come apart. You know, pretty simple, pretty easy. And like I said, it's just reverse putting everything back together. Just make sure you don't lose that clip. And, uh, yeah. So, if you guys have any questions, you know, please feel free to uh, comment. And then uh, we'll have some more videos for you shortly.